Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a cool fishing tool that I discovered this week. It's called Pie Fisher. It's an awesome tool. I was testing it out, and this obviously this is all for educational purposes. I did it for an engagement that I was doing for a job, so it was definitely for a project that I had permission to do so. But we're going to do this all on my local network, and I have permission to my local network. So it's a very, very easy to use fishing tool. I believe it has over like, six, yeah, right here. So it has 65 website templates. And like, obviously the author is not, the author is not responsible for any misuse. Likewise for myself, you just want to use these tools for educational purposes, right? Don't, I'm not condoning any kind of malicious intent with these tools and, you know, enjoy yourself and learn, right? So before we just get right into installing it, what I want to do is go over the tool a little bit. So, you know, it, it was updated about two months ago, I guess, to version 1.6. I guess they were doing some fixes for Facebook. It has Docker files. So, you know, a little bit about the description. It's an ultimate phishing tool in Python. So it is written in Python. It includes popular websites like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, GitHub. Reddit, Gmail, and many others. It's a very, very simple, straightforward install. And these are the, the people that you know, contributed to it. Cats off to kudos to those guys. And the installation, you know, it has its dependencies. You know, it needs Git and it needs Python. So if you don't have this, you know, for Debian, for Arc, for Fedora, for Termex, et cetera, these are the process to install them. I'm running this on Kali Linux, so I can just go right to the repository, clone the repository and get right to work. But we'll get to that in a second. So, you know, once you clone the repository, you're going to CD into the uh, into the directory. And once you CD to the directory, CD obviously is change directory. So once you get into that, you're going to go ahead and run the tool, make sure you have Python 3 installed, and you're going to run Python 3 and then pyfisher.py, and then it's going to install whatever it needs. Okay. So some of the features, it has, you know, it's multiple platforms, supports mostly Linux. Uh, I, I normally run all my tools in Kali, so you know, we should be good there. 65 website templates, dual tunneling, easy to use, you know, obviously, so it has a possible error uh, diagnoser, uh, built-in masking of URLs, custom masking of URLs, and many more. And it gets the IP and many other information, you know, along with the logon credentials. So say, for example, you're doing an engagement, you go ahead and send this to a user that you have permission to do so. And when they click on the link, they install this or not install, sorry, they, they, they log in with their credentials to whatever site that we're using. We're going to use a couple in this video to, to demo. And then once it gives us that information, it should give us the geolocation and the logon information. And we'll, we'll check that out in a bit. And obviously the requirements, Python 3, PHP, curl, uh, unzip, wget, and 100 megs free space. Okay, cool. And this is a little example of it and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's get to it. You know, let's get right into it. Let's uh, stop talking. And let's go ahead to the code. We can clone it right here. We can copy this. And let's open up a terminal. Wherever you want to put your tool, it's up to you. It's up to you. I have it in home infosec pat underscore tools. So I'm going to do get clone. And there we go. So now if I do an ls, we have this directory in here. So if we cd to pi fisher, let's clear this. So, like, so now we have all the files that downloaded from that GitHub. So now if we just put Python, Python 3, pi fisher, and let's just hit enter, and we should get this fancy fancy thing, Pi Fisher. And if you haven't installed this already, I did install it, I removed it, so it has the dependencies already. And you should, you know, have have this installing whatever dependencies it's needed. Right. So as you see here, we have 65 plus one, 66 is a custom. So we can go for an example, we can try Facebook. Let's just go with Facebook. Facebook's cool, right? 
um, traditional. So we do number one, right? So we do number one, we can hit enter, and we're gonna do this on my local machine as well as in the Kali box. So on my local machine, I'm using Opera with a VPN, so it looks like I'm totally not on this network. So we can test this um, through the tunnels and everything, make sure everything's working, okay? So let's just wait for this to initialize the tunnels. And once this gives us the addresses that we can utilize, we can copy that URL, paste it, and then go on our merry way. We'll give this a moment. All right, so URL one, I'll just go ahead and copy this link, okay? So I'll just go up here, open up a new tab, paste it, I don't wanna do that. Paste this and hit enter, and it looks like beautiful Facebook, okay? So I can just put user at user.com and then password I can put infosec at is cool, okay? So now obviously that's not, let's don't save that. Don't save. So it says, you know, enter your, your real credentials, right? Now, if we go back to the terminal, if we say want to customize the link, you know, I can just put yes, or we can just hit enter to skip. I'm just gonna hit enter, okay? So when I hit enter, it's gonna wait on for the log on credentials and we have that. And now it's gonna wait, give us a moment to give us anything else. And it's probably not because it's waiting for any next uh, uh, next log on attempts with that URL, okay? So we have the you know Facebook user, user at user.com. So what I wanna do is I wanna use that same link. I wanna try something and I wanna go ahead and just go out to Google, okay? I wanna do shorten short search or url oh spelled it wrong okay whatever all right so i want to use tiny url so i want to go ahead and put the url in here and i want to go ahead and make a all right let me go back i don't i don't know why i'm using that one i like short url Let's just use this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that. Sorry guys, I only have one hand. And because I, I didn't like dislocate my shoulder. So I'm trying to do this as best as I can. So sorry. All right, so this is the short URL. So if I copy this and I wanna go ahead and come to my local machine. So this is a virtual machine. I wanna minimize this. I wanna come out to my Opera, which is a VPN. So if I can see my VPN, I'm connected to somewhere in Europe, okay? So if I paste this here and I hit enter, let's see if this URL works and it should go to something like Facebook, okay? We can do, I love hacking at hacker.com and then Patrick is cool, okay? That's probably not gonna work. Okay, cool deal. So now let's go, let me go back to my VM, minimize this. And then you see how it has this new information, Switzerland, you know, that was the IP address and everything is saved, okay? So now if we just do control C, go ahead and exit this. Okay, so now if I do an LS, we have this user usernames.txt. Let's just cat usernames.txt. So you can see here, we have all the usernames that tried to log in. So we have the one that I did on my local machine and then my password and all that good stuff. So we'll try one more. So that was Facebook. So let's just go ahead and do Python 3. Let's open this application back up and we'll do, for example, Instagram. We'll give Instagram a go. Okay, where is Insta? All right, number five, okay? So we'll do number five. And we're coming up on the 10 minute mark. So after this one should be good. I don't wanna keep going on. You can, you guys get the idea and how to use this and you can test it out locally on your machine and then you can test it out on a, on a browser with the VPN. So you can see that the connection is tunneling through and getting back to our Kali box, All right? So let's give this a moment. And we'll do the same thing. We're not going to shorten the URL and all that stuff. You know how to do that already. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Come up here. Oh, I don't do that. Paste this. Oh, I don't do that. 
I guess it didn't paste. All right, let me go back to here. Copy link. Paste. Okay, so this is fancy Facebook and Instagram. So I want to put, I don't know, InfoSecPat. And then my password is InfoSecPat. Is cool. Okay. Perfect. It didn't work and then they're going to log in with their real credentials and then we can just hit enter here. We'll give that a minute and we see in, uh, InfoSec Pat, InfoSec Pat and then we can just, I'm not going to go ahead and do it on my local machine. You guys get the idea. So I want to cancel that. I'm going to go ahead and cat usernames that's text and now I can see all the usernames and passwords that I was able to uh, um capture with this phishing tool. So hopefully this has been informative for you guys. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. You can meet, you know, Instagram is PDGIT Solutions, or you can also, you know, search for InfoSec Pat and you will see me on there and my Discord and however you want to reach out. And uh, I'll be more than happy to help you out. Enjoy this tool, guys. And until next time, please like, subscribe, share, and we'll be chatting soon. Take good care. Thank you, guys.